we're going out the same way we came in. Don't matter who you know or where you've been. Makes no difference who you are. Hello? Hello, Sean. Uh, Dan here. What are you up to? Ah, oh, Dan, nothing much. Just cooking the tea. What about yourself? Are you still on for the couple of drinks later on? No, I'm afraid I have somewhere to go later on. You weren't listening to the death notice of the day on the wireless by any chance. Why, did someone die or something? Well, it seems like our old friend Frank Flood has passed away. Perfect. Lord of mercy on him. I wouldn't have seen Frank in a good few years. Was he sick? No, I didn't say anything like that now in the wireless at all. I just give his name and address and, and funeral arrangements. Um, I was thinking of going over to the wake later on. Do you want to come? Oh, definitely so, Dad. Definitely so. Does he still live in the same place? Still in the same place now, as far as I know. Listen, the engine fell out of the car yesterday. Clean walk out of the car and it's banjaxed. So come here, I, I'll get a taxi off. And we'll pick you up about six o'clock. That'd be great, Dan. And uh, thanks very much for letting me know. And I'll see you later on. OK, then. See you then, short. Bye-bye. Oh, bloody hell, me sausages. Is this the place? Ah, it must be. There's a few people there around the door. That could has to be the place. Right, young fella, we'll do the best here. Yeah, call back for us in about a half an hour, all right? That's no bother. Come back this way with a fella anyway, so I'll see you then. OK, is that enough there? That's great. Thanks very much. OK, now. Thanks a lot, Mark. Good luck, lads. God bless all here. Mrs. Thank you, Dan. Thank we you. knew your husband long ago. Dan Haggerty's my name. Oh. Uh, Sean Dolan's the name. I'm sorry for your trouble. Thank you both very much. You're very welcome. These are my two sons, Liam and Joe. Sorry for your trouble. Right. Sorry, sorry, Dan. God rest your father, Joe. Thanks, thanks very much. much. I'm sorry for your trouble. Thanks for coming. Very much welcome. Sure, sit down there, lads. Sean, sure, I'll get you some drink. All right, right. Yeah. Have you travelled far tonight, boy? Oh, not very far. We only live about a half an hour away. Okay. Right. Well, that's not too far, so it's not. Uh -huh. Now, there we go, lads. Dad and he there, now. Cheers. May your given hand never fail. And day. Uh, God rest the dead. God rest the dead. You know what? I can't seem to place you two gentlemen at all. Have we met before? No, I, I don't think we have. We knew your husband long ago. Did you go to school together then, or how did you come to know him? I just can't remember how we came to know him now, but it wasn't through school anyway. So, what is it you do for living men? We're both retired from the army. Very good. Yeah. Um, maybe we should go over now and pay our respects to the dead. Of course. Excuse us. Holy Jesus, Mother of God. Jesus. What sort of mad prayer is that? Will you keep your voice down and pray into yourself? Will you open your eyes, will you, and look into that coffin? Just look. Suffering Christ. Who the hell's that fella? Keep it quiet. We're in a quiet bit of a jam now, so we are. Okay, gentlemen. Oh, I, I, everything's fine. Except I have an awful urge to get some fresh air. Will you come on? I'm grand. Come on, will you? They're an odd pair, aren't they? Mm. There's something about them that just doesn't add up. How the hell are we going to get out of this one? That's not Frank Flood in there. Wait a minute. 
Does that mean that Frank might still be alive? And who the hell's your man inside in the coffin anyway? I don't know who the hell he is. I've never seen him before in my whole blessed life. They're acting mighty strange and I'm telling you we're going to have to be on our guard with them. This is no time for this type of crack. Do you think that Da would want you scrutinising everyone to walk through that door? And for no good of reason? Of course he would. He was a paranoid old frigger at the best of times. Joe! Well, and anyway, I have me reasons. And let's just say that them two fellas fit the profile. Profile? What profile? I'm telling you, they're out there now probably planning something right this very minute. We're at the wrong wick. We got the address wrong. I saw all the crowd outside and I presumed that this was the place. You mean you got the address wrong? Damn your soul. I was going to be you and you said you could remember where he lived. Never mind that now. Our whole focus is to get out of here before the before they find us out, before they start asking us a whole lot of questions. Now come on, let's get in there and say our goodbyes and get out of here before they offer us tea or, or buns or anything, okay? Now let's go. <laughs> Oh, there you are, gentlemen. We thought you'd got lost or something. Here's some tea and sandwiches for the oh, pair of you. Thanks very much. That looks lovely. Aren't you having any, Mr. Egerty? No, 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 thanks. We oh, were maybe just thinking a of coffee uh, drinker. You are then? Is that it? Would you like me to make you a nice cup of coffee? No, thanks. I hate the stuff. Well, there you are then. A good strong cup of tea is what you need. <laughs> Sit down there now and get that into you. And there's biscuits there too. thought we were leaving. What the hell are you doing starting with the tea? So why wouldn't I? You wouldn't expect me to leave on an empty stomach, would you? You regret this. So, um, have you kept in touch with Nick down through the years? Or how long is it since you've seen him? It's that long, Mrs. We hardly recognised him tonight. Shut up and let me do the talking. <laughs> when did you and Nick first meet? Uh, that would have been June. Yeah, June 1969. Oh, <laughs> it, 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 it would have been just before that when we parted. Uh, 1968, I think. Uh, oh, so you were with him in England then? What? Well, yes, Mick was in England from 1964 to 1969. Should, that's where we met. Oh, aye, 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 aye. We worked with him in England, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. We work with them on the building sites. <laughs> on the building sites? I never remember Mick saying he worked on a building site. Like, Mick worked in a bank, for the most part, as far as I know. Oh, and in a shoe factory for a while. I remember it now. I remember the day that he came in and he told us that he was away off to a big job somewhere. <laughs> it, it must have been just after we landed that we were working with them on the buildings. Oh, right. <laughs> right. We used to have good fun with Mick up on the scaffold. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> the bricks. <laughs> Quite frankly, gentlemen, I find that very hard to believe. You do? Well, yes. Just can't imagine Mick up on a scaffold laying bricks given the fact that he always had a terrible fear of heights. She wouldn't even stand up in a chair, never mind a scaffold. No. I don't need the bad knee. That's right. Ah, I have it now. <laughs> it was us was up on the scaffold and he was down below mixing the cement. <laughs> Make the mixer, we called him. Isn't that right, Sean? Make the mixer. <laughs> How would I know? You're the one that's... Hey, hey. hey. Uh, make the mix, sir. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking there. If you knew my father in England, well, then surely you would have known his brother, too. His brother? Aye. Right. His brother. It, did we know Mick's brother? It, do you remember, uh, Sean? His brother? Uh, his which, brother. Which, which brother was that? Sure, he only had the one brother. You know who we mean. Tom. He's not with us anymore. Oh, Tom. Tom, Tom, my good old Tom. <laughs> Tear away Tom, we used to call him. <laughs> sure, he was like a brother to us. <laughs> I'm sorry he's not with us anymore now. When did, well, when did he die now? Oh, he's not dead. Oh, no. I mean, he doesn't live around here anymore. Tom's living in England. He's very much alive and well. <laughs> in fact... He's on his way over from England now, even as we speak. 
I'm sure he'll be delighted to meet his two old friends again. I say it'll be a great surprise for him. Oh, it'll be a powerful surprise, all right. <laughs> Uh, would you excuse me, please, gentlemen? I want to go and tend to something in the kitchen. I shall I give you a hand, ma'am? Oh, thanks, Liam. No problem. Your lads, would you do me a bit of a favour? Would you sit your ground there and keep a wee eye on himself for a minute? Yeah. Uh, watch him? Aye, let's just keep a wee eye on him. Now stand your ground and don't go away. I'll be back in a few minutes. It's just I'm digging for a fag and I just have to get out. I'll be back in in a minute. No bother. Aye. Come on, now's our chance to get out of here. What do you mean? He told us to watch him. We can't just jump up and leave a corpse on its own. It's not like he's going to walk away now, is it? Now, but that's not the point, Dan. We can't leave after all the hospitality they showed us. Look. Look at Sean. They are suspicious of us for some reason. And the brothers do at any minute. He'll expose us for, 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 for the vex that we are. If we are caught out, they th they'll, they'll think we're a pair of con men for sure. Like, like, we have never even been in England. Well, I was in England once. On a holiday, like. Uh, Mrs. Fehan, uh, Liam, I, I'm sorry, but we have to go. We we'll have somewhere else to go. Okay, uh, look at. Thanks for all your hospitality. Uh, come on, John. Oh, gentlemen, you're more than welcome. But you're, what's your rush anyhow? Surely you can stay a while longer. I sure Tom will be here any minute. Sure, surely you'd like to wait and stay to see him. It'd mean an awful lot to him, I'd say. Well, I wouldn't say it would mean that much to him. The wait is over. The very man has arrived. Here he is. Uncle oh, Tom. Tom, it's great ah, to Sarah, see Sarah, Sarah, God bless us. I'm sorry I'm late, but the taxi money kept getting lost. Ah, young Liam. <laughs> How are you, Gosling? It's great to see you, Tom. Uh, uh, Tom, Tom, do you see these two here? Do you recognise them at all? Could they be the two I was telling you about outside? This is it, John. The game is up. Why are you? Now, Tom, take your time. Have a good look. Joe, what are you playing at? You be quiet too and let him study them. Study them for what? Ah, that's them. I know them rightly. <laughs> you do? Uh, Joe, what's this all about? I'll tell you now what it's all about. You mind me father walked in the bank in England? Aye. Well, one day two men approached him. Well, they asked him would they help him rob that very bank. An inside job, you might say. Now, nobody got hurt. But when my father went to the hideout to collect his money... These fellas wouldn't give him to him. Instead, they gave him a bullet in the knee and would have left him for dead only for the cops arrived just in the nick of time. And in the confusion, well, my father got away, but you see, the money disappeared. But well, what's that got to do with these two? The two that double-crossed my father were Irish, mid-thirties at the time, ex-army men, and, well, my father told me that in the event of his death, two men such as these would turn up at his wake in the search of their money. Well, it's not us. It can't be us. Let me explain. You fit the profile. You're Irish. You're in your 60s. You're ex-army men. And Tom here says he knows you. No, he didn't. He just said he recognised us. And I don't see how the hell he could. Tom knew the gang members. And if he says he knows you, that's good enough for me. We don't know Tom. We've never seen him before. Ever. But you said you knew him earlier when we mentioned his name. Do you want to know the truth? Let me explain. We're at the wrong wick. Um, we didn't know this till we looked into the coffin, and and, and uh, since then we've been trying to get out of here. Like we, we thought we were at Frank Flood's wake. Like we, we got the address wrong. You mean you got the address wrong? Don't start that again. Well, we don't even know Mick. We don't even know Tom. We've never been in England ever. Well, I was in England once on a holiday, like you know. Shut up, Sean. Damn your silence! Don't tell me to shut up. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be in this mess with the wrong address. We'd have been out here long ago. And if you'd have got up at your arse when the going was good instead of filling your belly full of tea and sandwiches and, and whiskey. Oh, and my father gave me just one more instruction. In the event of these two turning up, I was to give them each a bullet in the knee from this very gun. As payback! 
Honest to God, we are not the lads that you want to be. But we don't, we don't, we never did that to your family. We don't even know your father. This thing's a whole mix up. Joe, where the hell did you get that gun? My grandfather used it in the war, my father used it in England, and I'm going to use it on these two. Will you listen to yourself? Will you just stop pointing it at them, will you? You're going to be telling the truth. Uncle Tom here says he knows them, isn't that right, Tom? I, I would, well, well, let me see. They, they, they look like them. Will you shut up, you seen and I'll frigger you. We don't know you, so you don't know us. So tell him to put the gun down before he kneecaps the both of us. But I know you. I know you from some place. There you are. He hasn't a clue who we are. It's no odds. I know you're the man I'm after and you're not getting away from me. Oh, jeez, look at him. He's getting up from the coffin. Oh, it's a oh, miracle. Oh, it's a real oh, miracle. Oh, 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 Tom, oh. Tom, stop the bullet. Get away, do it. Why didn't you shoot them? Ah, where the hell was I going to get bullets for a freaking out thing like this? Ah, give me that. Will you eat it? Stop! Ah. There's the taxi. Finally, a bit of Then buy some some hole. <laughs> get the hell out of there! Come on, quick, will you? The life of me. How will you come on, how you? What about Frank's wake? Ah, oh, the hell about Frank's wake. I have enough of this crack. I'm getting too old for it anyway. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do well to go to the bloody tuner. Here, lads. You should have seen the old boy after dropping off there. He was going to the brother's wake, right? <laughs> he had me driving around in circus looking for the house. We stopped at two different wake houses before we got the right one. Can you imagine going to the wrong wake? <laughs> stupid would you be? That's right. How stupid, eh? Oh, we're going out the same way we came in. Don't matter who you know or where you've been. Makes no difference who you are, Skid Row Joe or Superstar. You're going out the same way you came in. We are born into this world without a thing. And we leave it just as naked as we came. Him a drive a coop to build on a mansion on the hill. Don't mean nothing, Vincent Peter. Who the hell are you, fellas? Hey!